This is a brand new Canyon Ultimate, a bike that's faster, lighter, and stiffer. And you find out how it rides by watching my first ride impression video, linked right up there if you haven't seen it already. But today, I've got loads of questions about this bike, which I'm sure you have as well. How is it faster? How is it lighter? How is it stiffer? But the biggest question of all is why are there no rim brakes on the new Ultimate as they were on the old bike? I put the questions to the lead product manager of the new Ultimate to find out. Yes, no rim brakes. I think we're over it. Um, the, the disc brakes just gives us so many uh, opportunities. We're talking about tire clearance, like that adds a lot of comfort to your bike. And then of course, um, the handling of it is way better than with rim brakes. Um, we did see some demand because we can achieve uh, lower price points with rim brakes, but that's more on the end race lineup. But I think this will um, yeah, get over it um, within the, the next weeks and months or years. Of course, it, it looks pretty much the same than the old bike, but that was on purpose. It was our intention to, um, yeah, let's uh, just remain with the ultimate look and feel because it has a strong legacy in our portfolio for the last uh, 20 years. And so we wanted to have the frame more or less um, appearance wise the same, but we stuffed it with all the innovation we can get um, with the new cockpit. We have a new seat post. The design team did an incredible job to get the look um, like it was. It's still a classic road bike, but um, revamping it, giving it a, a fresh look and um, yeah, having the, the ultimate in the fifth generation with still um, the legacy of the last 20 years. Yeah, I think the perfect balance of this bike comes by the combination of all these factors. That, um, yeah, let's name it, it's comfort, it's weight, it's stiffness, it's aerodynamics. Um, all these factors um, within the development would compromise each and another, but um, we took the development goals to not uh, let them compromise each other, but um, yeah, balancing them out and combi combining them. I think if you would have uh, the choice, uh, you should uh, take a look on your doorstep. So what's uh, needed for you as a customer. The Aero, of course, is faster aerodynamic wise, um, but you make some compromises in, in comfort and stiffness. Um, so if you are more the, the, the fun riding or mountain climber or maybe pro coffee rider, maybe you would suit the Ultimate better. Yeah, let's face it, it, it wasn't a fun uh, time working at Canyon Development uh, uh, Road Canyon um, where Matthew van der Poel broke his handlebar. It were several reasons leading to that, but we did rework it, we did a good job, we um, uh, did yeah, the, the layout process again and again and again. And for now I can say it's the most tested Canyon uh, cockpit that we ever had, so it's really robust to the bone and we um, did some testing for the frame as well. Um, we did reinvent the, the layup. We did um, add, um, to, be, to be honest, we did add some weight by, by purpose, on purpose, just to make it more durable. Yes, weight is important for us, but as I already told, um, it's more the balancing out all these factors and yes, um, we could have gone lighter, but that would have compromised durability and you don't want um, your bike to break if it falls down on your coffee stop. So yes, uh, we did add some extra weight on purpose, so that makes it a little bit uh, heavier, but not too much. Um, yeah, the weight savings come from the carbon fiber layup. The CFR is really the best material we can get our hands on. It's uh, the best people working on it at our manufacturing site. And then we also have a second seat post, the CFR seat post, that is a zero setback version, which is even lighter. Uh, our pros demanded that because they are sitting a little bit more to the, um, over the BB area. That's why they wanted a zero setback uh, seat post and that's spec for our CFR versions as well.
Um, that's a tough question because if you're um, balancing out all these factors and you're giving it your absolute best, um, for now you can't imagine it being even better um, because it's a timeless design. We wanted it to be the next classic road bike, but for sure we're never stopping. We're always moving forward and we have some innovations in our pockets that of course will um, appeal the ultimate as well. Um, for us, it was very important that the pros have choice. So we adapted the exact same geometry between Ultimate and Aeroad, so they could um, take the weapon they want for the next stage. So if the, um, I guess if it's a, a flat stage, they're gonna for, uh, opt for the Aeroad. If it's a mountaintop finish, they're jumping on the Ultimate. I think um, the, the short answer would be it's the most beautiful bike you could ever get your hands on. The long answer would be that you will have a lot of fun of, on it. Um, it's really comfy. It's uh, handling perfectly because we balanced out the stiffness um, to the, the weight. And it's uh, really fast because we worked with our um, development partner for aerodynamics Swiss side. So it's really a fast bike. And um, I'm pretty sure that we, you're going to return with a smile on your face on your first ride. So hopefully that interview answers some questions you might have about the brand new Ultimate. But if there are some questions going unanswered, then put them down below in the comment section. And if you want to see how the bike rides, then check the video right here.